Somehow I've come down with the flu this week. Awesome timing, right? Come right back to my YouTube channel, and then all of a sudden it hits again. The Gumpla gods are trying to say, you should not create, <laughs> but you know what? I smite you, Gunpla gods. I'm gonna show you guys some of the projects that I'm working on. Uh, you guys should know what this bad boy is. This is the RE100 Nightingale. It was inside of its box and my cat jumped in and broke it. So I have a piece from one of the thrusters that has fallen off of it. And I just had the piece. It was just in my hand and it disappeared. Well, I was gonna show you the piece that was broken. <laughs> I'm literally just going to take Tamiya extra thin cement and put it on the cross section here and put it on the piece. I will be making a short actually doing the repair, but I'm not going to bother you guys with the actual repair of the kit on this video. These thrusters are attached by this small piece. The piece goes inside of the thrusters. It's attached to this piece right here, which is stuck inside. Now I have multiple ways that I can go ahead and fix this, but I opted for taking this piece out and attaching it back here rather than unassembling the entire kit. The nightingale fixing is gonna take like two seconds. The longest part of fixing this part is gonna be the actual curing of the cement on the piece. So really simple, that's all I'm really gonna do with the nightingale for now until I get it prepped for painting. I will be building the other one as well. It's such a great suit. It's such a great design. I love everything about it. I would suggest this greatly to anyone. This one was like a really fun build. It kind of built like a mega size model kit and I love the mega size model kit. There's there's unicorn there. But the other project that I'm opting to do, I have the HG Hyzac. And what I've heard is that these hoses are just absolutely atrocious. Makes sense. Um, HG is not known for its really good detail or anything like that, but they're affordable, which makes them amazing. The number one complaint on the Hyzac here is that the hoses are just atrocious. Like most Zaku's, the hosing on it just isn't that good. It's okay. I mean, if you paint it, that's the whole point. I think sometimes people forget that these are intended to be painted eventually. I mean, you don't have to, obviously straight builds are great, but they're intended to be painted. But for those that like the snap build, I mean, you'd have to go ahead and paint these too. I'm gonna make a full video on this one and at least a short to show you. The guy in my hobby shop was like, hey, check this out, this will fix the Hyzac. I'm like, sold. <laughs> they have different mono eye pieces. They have different lenses. They have all kinds of things. Okay. So that's everything that I have as far as projects. I have like 5,000 other projects. So I'm going to stick with these two really easy projects, things that people can do just like really fast. I know a lot of people have broken parts, so I'm actually looking forward to making an accessible video that will show people how to fix parts. So if you don't have access to a resin printer, this is a really, really good way to fix everything that you need to fix. Maybe tomorrow night I will stream building the Hyzac. I'd love to hang out with you guys. It's been a while. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Let me know what projects you're working on and I hope none of you have the flu or anything like that and you're all in good health. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys really soon. Let me go find that piece because it just eluded me. Like, relatable, right? Relatable. I just had the piece. Where the heck did it go? Did it? Ugh. My floor is made out of uh, gym flooring. If you guys have seen my Gunpla floor video, which I know I reference it a lot, but it's like, one of my favorite videos to film, but it's made out of gym floor and it is the exact color of the piece that is broken. So that's fun.